Are you ready to learn how to kayak? Well, you're in the right place. Let's go. Well, first of all, I wanna welcome you. I'm excited you guys are here and you wanna take your paddling to the next level. That's my goal today, is to help you accelerate your learning curve, avoid some of those beginner mistakes, and get you on the right track. So let's get into it. So before I even hit the water, I like to go over my kit to make sure I have everything I need for a successful day of paddling. First thing, sun protection. Second thing, life jacket. Third thing, good water shoes. Fourth thing, good sunglasses. A good hat. And of course, a paddle and a kayak. Okay, so you have everything you need. Now it's time to get in and out of the kayak. This can be the trickiest and most daunting thing for a lot of new paddlers. There's a couple different ways to do it, and it's also different whether you're using a sit inside versus a sit on top. Today, I've got a sit on top, Eddyline Caribbean 12, so real easy to get in and out of. I've got a nice sloped rock that kind of mimics a dock. What I like to do is scoop my boat out away from the water a little bit, put my paddle on the ramp, and then sit my butt down into the boat. Now I can just swing my feet over, and I'm ready to go. So getting into a sit inside can be a little more tricky because you have to get your legs down inside. Here we have the Eddyline Sandpiper, which does have a huge open cockpit, so fairly easy to get in and out of. And you could do the same thing. You could just park your butt and then swing your feet over. But this is a little bit more precarious. So to avoid that awkward moment of trying to get my legs in and not having the kayak supported, I put my paddle back across the back deck on the combing so I can hold on to it here. I'm gonna put my hand around the combing and the paddle, my other hand on the paddle over here. Now I've got a little support. I'm trying to lean my weight onto the boat, but I have that support from the paddle blade on the water. Now I can get my feet in, get situated, and I'm ready to go paddling. Okay, now we're in our kayaks, but I don't want you guys out there looking like total newbies. So here's the deal. We wanna make sure you're adjusted right in your boat. You have foot pedals, they're super important. This is where how you drive power from your body into your feet. So you wanna make sure that they're dialed in. I see a lot of this and there's no power here. There's no support for your lower back here. So you wanna have a nice bend in your knee, but still be able to push and straighten your legs out as you rotate and paddle. The next thing is back support, making sure that you have good back support so you can sit nice and upright. I think of my pelvis as like rotated forward. So I'm up on my sit bones instead of my tailbone. If I'm on my tailbone, I'm kind of back here, the kayak feels real tippy. My weight is shifted back from the widest point of the kayak and it's just awkward. It's also gonna make me use my arms as opposed to engaging my core. So the best way to engage our core is to have that seat nice and upright, rotate our pelvis forward so we're in an upright active paddling position. Now we're free to rotate and really get the power to our paddles. Speaking of paddles, holding your paddle correctly is a super important part of paddling. So you wanna have just about a 90 degree bend in your elbows. When you hold that paddle, I call this a paddler's box. You want a kind of a box between your chest, your paddle, and your arms. This is a great way to transfer power from your body to the blade. You see, I use an offset on my paddles. That's not a must. Most people don't start off that way. I've just been paddling a long time and that's where I find I like it. But you can also start off with a zero degree feather. That part doesn't matter. The part that matters is that your hand, whatever hand you are, if you're right-handed or left-handed, that your knuckles are lined up at the top of the blades. So the blade is straight out in front of you. It's also important to know that you have a power face of your blade, the side that's facing you, and a back face, the back side of the paddle. And really your orientation to the paddle never needs to change. I see people flip their paddle around to go backwards or to stop. It's not necessary, you just use the back side of the blade. And the reason I say that is because as you grow and you progress in paddle sports, you always wanna know where your paddle blade is in relationship to the water. And if you get in the habit of spinning it around, it's only a matter of time before it's wrong and it dives underneath your boat and you trip over your paddle and go for a swim. So holding your paddle in your hand, nice upright position, paddler's box engaged, now we're ready to take some strokes. So we're gonna start you guys with the most important stroke that you can learn. This is what you're gonna be doing 90% of the time to drive your kayak forward, and it's called a forward stroke. Again, our paddler's box is intact. We're staying parallel to our paddle and our chest. Our arms are kind of a slight bend. And now we're gonna rotate ourselves forward and catch that paddle up by our toes. So think about stabbing that blade down in the water. Once it's in the water, fully submerged, now I can pull with my bottom hand, push with my top hand, and actually drive through my foot as I rotate. So as I'm doing that forward stroke again, this top hand, I'm thinking about pushing across kind of on a plane, like it's in front of my face, like I'm pushing as I pull. What that's gonna do is help me engage my whole body and connect to the kayak. So I'm putting it at the feet, catching the water, the bottom hand pulls, the top hand pushes, and then I'm rotating with my core, driving the boat forward. 
See how straight that leg is at the end of the stroke? Now if I were to switch sides, catch the water, push, watch that leg straighten right out. What that's doing is it's applying forward pressure to the foot pedals, so all my paddle has to do is hold on to a piece of water and I'm driving with my body to propel the kayak forward. You also notice how I'm using a loose grip on that top hand. As I push, I'm not death gripping my paddle. So now we have all this forward speed, getting our boat moving efficiently across the water. The next most important thing is, how do I stop this thing? We want to engage our brakes. No, there's no brakes on your foot pedals. You're gonna to have to use your paddle for that too. The next stroke is called a reverse stroke. And it's basically really similar to the forward stroke, just backwards, right? So instead of reaching up and grabbing our feet, we're gonna rotate with our core and put the paddle in behind us. Put that paddle in the water and then we just sweep the paddle forward alternating side. So as we do that with forward speed, it's gonna act like our brakes. Ready? Reverse, reverse. Two reverse sweep strokes and I'm stopped in my track. Another way we can use that stroke is if we're trying to avoid somebody or something. Like if I'm paddling towards Seth and I don't wanna hit him, I look away, drag my paddle. It's gonna bring my boat to a stop and turn my boat away. I have a rule in kayaking. If you look where you wanna go, you'll go there. And if you look where you don't wanna go, you're gonna go there too. So if you're looking at your buddy like, oh God, I don't wanna hit you, boom, you're gonna nail him. So what I always encourage people to do is look away, drag your paddle, and that boat's just gonna carve a nice turn away from the obstacle. So that's how we turn our boats and bring them to a stop. But what happens when we wanna just make a turn without stopping, right? We don't wanna kill our speed, we're trying to get somewhere. That's where the forward sweep stroke comes in. It's similar to the forward stroke as it still starts at the bow, but instead of having a vertical paddle shaft, I lower that paddle shaft, and instead of keeping it in line with my keel, close to the boat, so it doesn't make the boat back and forth, I sweep it out far away from the boat, encouraging the boat to turn. Again, the farther away my paddle is from the keel of the boat, the more it's gonna to wanna to turn the boat. So think about making a nice big rainbow. I'm gonna rotate, catch at my toes, sweep far as I can go all the way to the stern. Now I want you to notice something about my paddle and my chest, you guys. I'm still parallel, I'm still using that paddler's box. I'm not just using my arms, I'm using my whole core. I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna do it on my right side. But this time I want you to pay attention to what my leg's doing. I put my paddle in up at my feet, pushing with my top hand, pulling with the bottom, sweeping way out, and pushing my right leg forward, driving the boat into a turn. You can see how it kind of edges and leans my boat to the side. We'll get into that a little bit more in the next video when we break down more advanced techniques. But the idea is if you're doing it right, the boat naturally is gonna to wanna to edge to the correct side, driving the boat away from the paddle. Okay, next I wanna link up a couple of those strokes. We're gonna link up forward sweeps with reverse sweeps, and I'm gonna show you how you can just spin your kayak in a 360 in one spot. So again, forward sweep, putting up the bow, doing a nice torso rotation, reverse sweep, putting it in at the stern, sweeping towards my feet, Again, engaging my torso and rotating. That's what really makes these strokes work. That's how you get the power from the paddle into the boat. So now you can go forward, backwards, turn left, turn right, stop your boat. Hopefully you're off to a good start. The last thing I wanna show you guys is just a draw stroke to make your boat move sideways. You're sticking your paddle out sideways, parallel to the boat, so it can grip the water. With your top hand, you're holding it here. Your bottom hand, you're pulling in towards you. And then before you get to the boat, you turn your blade 90 degrees, almost like you're making a T with it. Catch, pull it towards you, turn your blade 90 degrees, slice it away. You can see how I can just pull myself sideways this way. All right, now we have all of our basic paddle strokes down. Let's go have some fun, and I'm gonna show you guys around Watson Lake. So after a great day paddling, the last thing you wanna do is fall in the water getting out. So we're gonna get out and we're basically gonna do the same thing as when we got in, just in reverse. Swing our legs to the side, use our paddle here for support, and push ourselves off the boat. 
So in this part, it's really important to keep your weight forward. I see a lot of people that go to get out and when they lean over here, they fall out or their boat starts creeping away. You want your weight forward towards the ramp, use your paddle and stand up. Now let's do the same thing, but in the sit-in side. So getting out of a sit-in side is much like getting out of a sit on top, but we're gonna use that paddle for support out here on the side, wrap our hand around the cockpit and the paddle blade, and we're gonna get our feet out. Sometimes I'll keep one foot in, one foot out and then pull myself forward. Now it's important to note there's no right or wrong way to do that. Anytime you're getting into your kayak or out of your kayak and you stay dry, I think it's good. But those are a few little pieces that I've found to work for a lot of different folks over the years. So thanks so much for hanging out with us, you guys. I hope you learned something today. If nothing else, I hope you found it entertaining. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling.